life. That, that's what we are here. It's more than a half inch, but... Holy... See how I'm thinner? I have gotten... Oh my. I have gotten several questions asking how I do my hair. I've gotten comments through the past few months. A lot of them. So you know what? That's, that's what we're doing today. And I'm also going to film a video if I have time putting my makeup on. So I use... This mousse, I've already put it in there. I use just a handful, not a huge handful, just like half a handful. And then I, I, I usually just brush it back and I have a normal part like right over there. And if you go with your normal calyx and your normal parts, it makes, your, makes it a lot easier. I also have said brush with hair in it that I probably could have cleaned out. I also use this brush that has like <clears throat> hair in it. I know, it's gross. It is what it is, real life. That, that's what we are here. But if you notice in, 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 in all the, the hair and the bristles, it's metal. This is a metal brush. And what happens is when I use my hair dryer, the metal brush warms up and it acts like kind of like a curling iron. So let's go. We're gonna zoom through this, okay? video a short I have never put up of Rob in the summer trimming my hair I asked him to trim the back of my hair I'm gonna put that footage in right here you said about a half inch yeah about a half inch mm-hmm women do you trust your husband to do this letting well, Rob different lengths well it's layers you can just cut one length across there just a little, just straighten it. Make it straight so like. I hear it. More than a half inch, but holy crap, that's more than a half inch. Well, it's not straight, it was all like dovetailed. Yeah, that's okay. That's, so that's pretty good. Like, there. how many inches would you say that is? An two, inch? no. Inch. Oh, that's more than an inch. inch and a half. Thank you. Now, did that look like an inch to you? Uh -huh. Then I take a banana clip. I know, we're in my closet. Look at my closet. Do you notice something about how I hang my clothes? My mother taught me this, but all the short sleeves are here and they're kind of color hooded so I can tell. Same with the long sleeves over here. It's just easier to find like what you want to wear if it's, if it's in there like that.
also dye my own hair, and I don't know if you're, I hate when people say, if you're interested in watching a video like that, I use box dye. Hold on, I'll go get what I used. I've been dyeing my hair for 30 years, maybe? But seriously. I have found that I like this brand, this John Frieda brand the best. And this is eight, color 8-9, medium natural blonde. That's what I use. In the summer, my hair was totally bleached out. I was out in my garden all the time, and my hair would just, it would bleach to blonde when the sun hit it. And that's only ever happened, like, one time before in my life that my hair would bleach out like that. And it was over, when I was over in Italy, I had spent the week on the Adriatic Sea. I don't remember the town's name, but over there on the beach and it just bleached. And a funny story about that is when you, you know, I died, I did, you know, I, died, I needed a hair dye. I wanted to dye my hair over there because it was so bleached out, it looked awful. Well, it looked awful, I just didn't like it. Well, everything in Italy, of course, is what? Written in Italian, so <laughs> that, that, was, that was funny, trying to figure that out. I know that this John Frieda, the hair dye, is hard to find sometimes. I know Ulta doesn't carry it anymore. In fact, they don't, Ulta doesn't carry it anymore. They don't carry very many hair dyes right now. And I keep doing that. And as I've gotten older, my hair has gotten thinner. I used to have a lot, a lot more hair. And I actually, you could see on the top, right? See how, see how thin that's gotten right there? I used to have a ton, a ton, a ton of hair. Also curl my hair. Stick around, we'll do that. Now when I when I do this, you see I'm I'm rolling it forward a little bit. I roll it forward and then take it back. All right, there's how I dry it. And, and just let your hair go natural, whichever way it goes. And it'll, it, your life will be easier because you won't have to be working on making your hair go one way when it really doesn't want to go that way. Now, I use this hairspray. I'll link all, everything I use, I'll link, link below. And then I give it just a light spray to start because what I'm gonna do first is straighten, straighten my sides because I don't, I don't like tight curls around my sides. So I'll start here and just grab them. And I have my straightener. This straightener, I won't link that straightener because I got that years and years ago. I'll link another straightener though. That's comparable. I've had cheap straighteners, like from the Walmart, and I have found this. I bought from I think J.C. Penney's in their hair salon. It's a chai, C H I, and it's lasted the longest, and it's not really damaged my hair.
but I, and when when I do this, what I do is I bring it around my face like this without burning my face, so it kind of just goes this way. Oh, that's probably good enough. So, see this? See this straight piece right here? I get that. I did that. My so just, and then again, just bring it, and then I turn this way. And on this side, I turn this way. Now, I'm I'm the girl that likes big hair. Do you guys remember the big hair in the it's 80s? So I'm gonna, that, that's me, but this it won't be big when we're done. Now I always spray first with this, and then I use my curling iron, and this is a cheap, cheaper curling iron. I do buy cheap curling irons because you can see I trash them. That's the hairspray that's on there that has dried because we're gonna hit it again. I have a video I did a while back ago. Now see, I'm just grabbing pieces back here. So just sections. You don't have to be perfect with it. I know like it's taken me a while to figure out that you don't have to, you don't have to be perfect with this because I used to do every curl perfect. Perfect size, perfect everything. And now I, I don't do that because I really don't care. And it doesn't really make a difference. Now see this right here, this this is wanting to go forward, but we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this. And I go clear back, clear back to that curl. Spray it. And then just spray it again and just leave it sit there. And I don't you can see I'm not spraying very much. It doesn't take much. I clean, you can see how I'm thinner? I used to get a lot more, I used to get more rows across here. <laughs> Mirror behind me if you wondered. And I think this curling iron, I think it's a one inch. I don't usually do anything smaller because I don't want tight, tight curls. What I'm thinking about doing and what a perm like I, just a curly perm so that I can just let it go curly when I was in middle school that's the way my my hair was in middle school <laughs> that's when Rob and I dated if anybody doesn't know that that's when Rob and I started dated date dated dating we, we for like two or three years we dated and then we broke up and then and then we uh, got back together like 40 years later 30 years later 30 years later we were both going through a divorce and he was on Facebook and I was on Facebook and I friended him, thinking, oh. I didn't really know he was like, single at the time. And by golly, he called me, and we met up, and it, honestly, it was like we never ever were apart. We just kind of picked up on each other, and just kind of, and it, it's kind of nice, because we knew the same people growing up. So we had a lot in common there. Oh well, yeah, that happened. My dog. I don't know about you, but my dog barks at the air, barks at everything. And then I'm gonna just grab another section here. I'll show you. Back here. I'll just do the same thing. And if you I lift up on it and spray, And then I'll curl it like halfway here and spray it. And then about there, and just spray it. And just hold it in there and wait. And wait. Another 
section. And then here's where you gotta be careful because this is where you don't, I end up, you might like it. I'll show it to you before I, because I have to straighten a little bit more. You might like it with the tighter curls. I just like it more loose. Rob made me this little sitting area. I have a mirror and all my makeup in front of me. Nothing great and spectacular. In fact, the table's a mess right now. But nothing great and spectacular. Just, it's easier just for me to sit. We are almost done with this curling part. And then I'll grab another section back here. Just feel for it. If you want to, you could turn around and look in the mirror. You know, get a handheld mirror and just look at what you're doing. And then I'll just respray it. This got to be glued hairspray is really, it's the best one that I found. Other than it's called freeze it, but I don't, I used that for a while, a long time I used that freeze it. This is humidity resistant too, this, this one. But the other one is humidity resistant. The only reason I quit using that is because I got so tired is I didn't like the smell of it. I just, there was not a good smell. Again, just grab. Or, or, you know, get your mirror if you want to see the back of your head. What would be nice if I had it like a trifold mirror, that would be easy. The bangs, I know y'all have a bang happening here today. My, you can see my bangs are getting long. I do, I do cut my own hair. I, I, do, I do that. And sometimes I'll have bangs and sometimes I won't have bangs in videos. But I like to have, I'll take just a little bit of this. And then normally I don't spray right here because on the first try, I'll spray the second this time. Because I, there's already a lot of hairspray. All right, so we have this, I have curls all over my head. Somebody saw me like this once and thought they were rollers. They're not rollers. And then I'll just take a comb. I have this comb that's broken. Or a pick or, or whatever or whatever you want to do. I don't use a brush. And then I just comb through it. And we'll see if anything else needs straightened in around my face. Then I just kind of look at it. And it's like hey that looks okay sometimes I might like take here and just kind of do a little bit not a lot and then we go with this but I always make sure because you know how you see people with like a hole in the back of their head where they didn't do their hair if you take it and kind of you can see there's no hole so this is all that I do and then just kind of squish it down where you need to. And it's like, tease it if you want. I used to tease it all the curls. I don't do that too much anymore. But there you go. I don't think anything else needs straightened because it's still, still smooth. I'll put a link, or I'm doing my makeup too. So I'll put a link at the end or in the description or somewhere, somewhere. Description and end of the video. It'll be there. I'll see you next time. Bye.